Greetings and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host Ace, and today's game is certainly an obscure title, but a fun one that nevertheless is worth trying out. F22 Raptor. First released all the way back in 1997 as the second entry of Nova Logic's F-22 franchise, the other titles being F-22 Lightning 2 from 1996 and F-22 Lightning 3 from 1999, F-22 Raptor is a classic example of Nova Logic's efforts to really push the Simlight subgenre, which for those who don't know, Simlights are a middle ground between proper flight sims, such as for example IL-2 Sturmovik, and on the other side of the spectrum, arcadey air combat games, such as, for example, Ace Combat. Sim light games are a good way for newcomers to get started into proper flight sims, and they're also a nice little alternative for flight simmers who want something a little bit more fast paced, but don't necessarily want a full on arcadey experience. And as mentioned, F22 Raptor is a good example of this kind of game. So it is, of course, unfortunate that it doesn't like to play particularly well right out of the box on modern hardware, but of course we are here to fix that. Speaking of which, it is of note that the version of this game that I'm testing these fixes on is of course a physical copy of the game, because as of the current time there is no official digital release of this particular game. It is also of note that I am testing these fixes on a Windows 10 64-bit, with 48GB of DDR4 RAM, an i7-6700K processor, and an NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti, and with all of that said, let's dive in. The first thing you'll want to do after installing the game is download and install DirectX 9.0c. This is something that if you play retro games already you have likely done, because it is outright essential for so many vintage games. Once that's done however, the next step is to download and extract DG Voodoo 2, after which you'll want to get into the DG Voodoo 2 folder, then the MS folder, then the x86 folder, and copy the files shown here, and paste them into the game's directory. Once that's done, open up DG Voodoo to and configure as shown here. The game should now be able to run, however you may be having issues trying to play the game with a controller. To fix this issue you'll want to download and extract X Input Plus. Once that's done you'll want to go into the X Input Plus folder, then the WINMM folder and copy the file shown here and paste it into the game's directory. After which open up X Input Plus and configure the game as shown here. Please note that X Input Plus is only only designed for Xbox controllers, and proper dedicated flight sim joysticks will likely not work with it. Still, this will allow you to play the game using an Xbox controller, which is a massive upgrade over mouse and keyboard. Congratulations though, because if you have done everything correctly, then your copy of F22 Raptor will be running correctly, and you will be able to play it with a controller. I hope you have found this guide to be of use, and I hope to be back again soon with another one. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see See you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. 